everyone. I'm back. I'm in the cabin just temporarily because I've nipped in to pick up a buddy. This is an A5. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. <laughs> oh, so much going on. We have a trip and I've come in to pick up a Sea White A5. I love these for travel. So travel sketchbook, just taking a backpack, notebook, nice and skinny. And I received this at Christmas. Thank you, Lauren. Um, it is from Cass Art. Glasses, glasses. And it's a professional watercolour travel set. I am so beside myself with excitement to give this little guy a go. Oh, look. Oh, dunno. Isn't that just the sweetest, loveliest little thing? So I'm praying I can do my travel set justice. That, that's been waiting patiently. And that, as well as my little pen pouch, that will be just about all I'm... Um, does anybody else have this? I have <laughs> visual glasses, reading glasses, laptop glasses, it's crazy. Distance glasses, sunglass prescription glasses. Um, I can carry those items if I can't get them in the backpack. So where are we off to? We are off to Spain, to Seville. We're hoping to get a trip to Cordoba from a Seville base and I'm very excited. I have found the chance to have a go. I said last week I'd have a go at drawing those hyacinths and I have. So I will drop that clip in now. These flowers uh, are really tricky. I think the best approach is just to try and get an idea of their shape, their outline, the outline of the overall shape. Hyacinths are tricky. I was avoiding having to draw the tops because they're so intricate. Um, I mean, where do you begin with those? But I've enjoyed that. It's something completely different and a, good, a really good warm up. 
I actually quite like that. <laughs> um, my very first I, attempt I did with the China Graph pencil that I found, I talked about last week, and I tried to understand these individual florets. They're really, really tricky. I went in with a brown woody, a wet, a wet brown woody. Now I could come back in and sharpen up some of this blur that's ha happened um, because of putting the water on. But it's really refreshing to see something different, different colour palette. The perfume from the Hyacinths is knockout strong, I can't tell you. They are amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't know if anyone else gets headaches from smells, but they're really um, susceptible to strong smells and it just gives me an instant headache. So they will have to go, <laughs> they have to go quite soon. They've got lovely character. They're really, really nice. The smell was too much, so they've been banished. But I put them on a chair outside and I can stand here with the easel and have a go at um, hydrangea, hydrangeas, hyacinths on a chair. I've gone in with acrylic. I've just got the bones down and I'm just going to see, I might have just left this too long. I've put that paint down. I don't know if I'm going, yeah, there's a little bit of shift, a little bit of movement. So I've dropped the grey in and I just let that all dry, settle and then have another look and see what I think about it. Um, nothing is jarring with me at the moment, so a good beginning. I can quite quickly see the flowers need to be more voluptuous.
No art shop, but we kept walking and found the beautiful university building. The reason I wanted acrylic, I really enjoy the watercolours, but where I've been mixing on this page, I just wanted to cover it with acrylic paint in order to be able to work on top and possibly um, rub back through. We're heading tomorrow to find the contemporary art across the river, so that should be good fun. We found the river. There's some lovely sculpture down there. I if I can zoom in on that. And we're heading now for the Modern Art Museum. But I've got to show you this. All around Seville, they're busy with their paintbrush. <laughs> Another one. How cool is that? Contemporary Art Museum doesn't open until 11 a.m. So I've got 30 minutes and I might have a go at drawing an olive tree, not necessarily the whole bunch here. There's a lot here I can fill in. I've taken a photograph, but the museum should be open.
ending here we've um we're heading back now into town along the river i'm cutting it really fine the internet drops off so there's a small chance because i've left it so late that this might not come up for thursday maybe i'll load it for friday um have a great week everyone and we'll be back probably with a little bit more of Seville next week and in the cabin. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.